Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create an incredibly unique bullet point list on your Squarespace website. I recently did this for a landing page of my own, and every single bullet point is a different color and has a unique Unicode character instead of the standard bullet point dot that we're used to. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so you can see exactly how we use these codes on a Squarespace website. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I am using the latest version known as 7.1, but the codes in this tutorial will work for any version of Squarespace, even older sites built on version 7. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to change the Unicode character that is used for this bullet point list right here. We're going to change the color, and then we'll change individual bullet points, alternate even and odd, and even create a pattern. Now, all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's go ahead and hop into design and then custom CSS to make these changes happen. For changing the character, we're going to use a Unicode character. In this example, I have an arrow that points to the right, and I'm just going to paste the code right here in custom CSS. All this code says is for the list item, take the very first character and right before it, use this content. This is replacing the bullet point, and now you can see the arrow for every single one of these items. Now, if you're not sure what Unicode character you want to use, I have an entire list on my website of Unicode characters compatible with Squarespace. Check all of these out. We've got arrows, we've got squares, circles, triangles, all kinds of different characters that you can use. You can use any of these for a bullet point. Let's go ahead and take this arrow, for example, We'll hop back into our code, and I'll replace this character with the one that we just copied. And now all of my list items have changed. Now let's go ahead and change the color. I'm going to add a semicolon after the word important, and I'm going to say color. And here I'll use the hex color code A1D9DD. It's one of my favorite light blue colors. You can also use a web safe color name like the word red, for example. Whatever you're comfortable with, just change the color by using the word color as the property. Now, after that, let's talk about changing the individual items. Let's say we actually want this first item to be bright green instead. I'm going to add a new line of code underneath this first one and check it out. Now the first bullet point is actually a green color instead. This character right here is telling the browser that on the very first item in this list, I want you to make that color green. Let's go ahead and repeat this for the second item, but instead of green, how about we make this one blue? I'll change that word to blue, and instead of one, I'll make sure this says two. And now the first item is green, the second item is blue, and the third item is red. Now let's go ahead and create the alternating even and odd. This is pretty fun. Instead of one, I'm going to say odd. And instead of two, I'm going to say even. And now we have green and blue alternating colors. We can even do this with characters. Let's take this content character right here. And for the even ones, I'll go ahead and paste it here. And instead of that arrow, let's go back to the original one I was using. Hopping back into our code, I'm going to replace this character right here. And now we've actually changed the character and the color for every other bullet point. Again, we've said odd and we've said even. Now, last but not least, let's create a pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these colors that we've just created. And I'm gonna paste this code that is in the description below. And let's take a look at how this works. This very first code says for the very first item, I want you to take the first character and then every third and make sure that it's this color. This right here says take the second character and every third after that. And this right here says every third character. Now we have three different colors that are alternating all the way through all 10 items, blue, orange, and then yellow. Pretty cool, right? Go ahead and change this to whatever color you want it to be. We'll go back to the red and green and blue. And now we have red, green, and blue alternating through the list. Again, this will be the first one and then the fourth one and so on. This one will be the second one and the fifth one and so on. And this one will be the third one and the sixth and so on. However you decide to change your custom bullet point list, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Again, the codes I just shared are listed in the description below. Just make sure you change the colors and the Unicode character so it matches the style that you're going for for your own website. Now head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash Unicode to grab a list of those characters that are Squarespace compatible. And if this is your very first time using CSS and Squarespace, I want to teach you a little bit more. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn to check out my free guide to the basics of CSS for Squarespace. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like and a comment if you did and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week. 
Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF, available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.